I would like to call upon Amy's higher self, please. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome back to a wonderful conversation with you. Am I able to ask you to start a body scan for Amy? Yes. Thank you so much. Am I able to ask questions while you complete that body scan? Yes. Fantastic. I'm assuming that with this body scan, you will be healing and balancing everything that Amy's body needs to have healed and balanced. Yes, she's actually very good right now because she just did uh, all of your beautiful group session healings and uh, they worked wonders for her. So she's just got a little bit of a pain, uh, cramp in her uh, right leg that she's had yesterday and today. And uh, that's just a little bit of blocked energy. We're going to release that for her. Fantastic. Uh, yes, those group uh, healing session uh, messages seem extremely powerful. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are, they are healing uh, not, e not only the people that are listening to them, but like everyone that they that they know, especially the people that they're close to. Mm, yeah, we've definitely heard some amazing results from that. So thank you so much. So um, higher self, are we able to connect with Archangel Michael? Because we feel like he has a strong message for everyone listening today. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, Archangel Michael, we we're wondering uh, what message do you have for humanity at this time? Uh, my message for humanity is that uh, we really just want everyone to keep their vibrations up. Uh, things are going really well according to plan and um, uh, it may it may not seem like it at times, but everything is going on behind the scenes that needs to go on uh, in order for the world to get to the place where it needs to uh, get to to be ready uh, for the um, for both the uh, disclosure broadcast uh, and uh, also for you all to go to the new earth. So we uh, we need to take a bit more. Um, time here everyone needs to be very patient and uh everything will unfold in the appropriate time but we need you all to really keep your vibrations up uh and in the meantime to help those that are maybe feeling a little bit uh um frustrated or uh impatient and uh so that we could try to you know help bring their energy up as well Thank you. Yes, it does seem important for everyone to take part in this. Um, so thank you. And was this message that you just shared, was this also the message that you were wanting um, Amy to be aware of? Or do you have a private message for her? Um, I also have a private message for her, but it is just that uh, we are hearing her prayers. Uh, she's been really uh, working on the list uh, that you gave from the other night, uh, or sorry, that the group session asked for. And uh, we want to tell her that uh, everything that she's waiting for is uh, just around the corner. Uh, she just needs to be like very clear with her intentions. And um, she, is, she is definitely on the right track uh, as well as with the abundance because she's, uh, we can feel that she's really uh, stressing about that as well which we know can be quite stressful. But again, we just want to remind her that, uh, you know, the, it is somewhat purposeful for her to not have a lot of money in this lifetime, but we aren't going to see her, uh, you know, starving to death either. So we will make sure that she's, uh, that she's taken care of. And we are uh, seeing her do the work with the um, affirmations and, uh, um, just a different, just a different kind of a more uh, money magnet mindset, uh, as per your uh, very good instructions that you gave her the other night, Joe. So, uh, if she just keeps uh, working at it, we will be, we will be making sure that she has what she needs. She, she just really needs to not worry about anything. Fantastic, great advice. And can we ask what is the purpose of her not um, having? 
um, millions of dollars flowing through her bank account? What was the purpose of her not having that much money? Well, as you were saying before, it was purposeful for her. Um, we didn't ever want her to be focused on materialistic things in this lifetime. We wanted her to uh, really uh, appreciate the few things that she had. And uh, as well, we we knew that um, just being, it's so hard for her. Uh, it's so hard for her being here in the three-dimensional, harder than it is for a lot of other beings. I think just because she was such a high, right, high vibrational being uh, in her other previous lifetimes that she really, really struggles with the 3D. And we didn't, if we would have given her a lot of money, uh, she would have probably clearly went down the wrong path. Thank you. So is it true what they say, the best things in life are free? Yes, it is. And, you know, we're, we're so, uh, like, I'm so proud of her. She's come so far and she really, like, um, she never was really that materialistic, but uh, it's very hard not to be a little bit just in the world uh, because it is created to be a materialistic world. But she, uh, but she's, um, since, since she found out about the new earth, uh, she's really just like, she doesn't have any value on any of her possessions anymore. She has a couple of little trinkets and things that her friends have given her that she would uh, really like, you know, kind of sort of like to treasure. But other than that, she could, uh, she could, and in her own words, she could like light a match and like walk away from her house and watch it burn. And she wouldn't, she wouldn't miss anything in it. Okay, good to know. I will... So yeah, it's, it's easy enough for her to, it's easy enough for her to leave everything behind. And I think that's a great place for her to be uh, just because, uh, you know, I know she she's uh because her mom uh has asked her a lot of questions about this and said you know but what about my pictures but what about this what about that just these few things that she would like to be able to take and uh like amy said you know you would have your your pictures and all that are aren't important because you would have all that uh available to you if you wanted to tap into it any time on the new earth right so you don't need you don't need any of the stuff that you had before you won't you won't want it or need it such a great point thank you so much yes and you mentioned the broadcast uh so is there still going to be such a broadcast we we still do see at this point that there will be a broadcast but we're not going to be giving any dates because we don't know when but uh but you know also we want you to keep in mind that like in a sense the broadcast is already happening uh like not on a not on a large like eight hour broadcast scale but on a smaller scale, you know, anyone who looks around anywhere on the internet today will be able to find information about Joe Biden, say, being on a, on a Castle Rock uh, TV set, you know, rather than being in the Oval Office, or, you know, Joe Biden uh, seems to be signing things that he doesn't uh, either, isn't, either they don't have anything on them, or they, or he he's not reading them, or whatever he has, or he's saying he has no idea what he's signing, so Either way, uh, there's so much um, so much information available. One only has to just do a tiny bit of digging, and the truth is right there staring them in the face. So, you know, we're really hoping uh, that a lot of people can just wake up on their own without, without a larger broadcast because it would be way less shocking for people, and we really don't want anyone to come to any harm from receiving uh, too much information. Um, difficult information for them to process like uh amy in particular is very worried about her residents because they are uh though the the uh more elder uh, not uh we won't, she doesn't like elderly so we'll use a different word uh like people who've lived uh quite like 90 or 80 years on this planet are going to really struggle to find out that their entire lives are lies and uh we really don't want to uh you know um to hurt, ha have any of those people uh, be hurt or shocked or, you know, even potentially have a heart attack or, or something like that from, from hearing that information. Okay, yes, I do understand. Thank you so much for clarifying that. And as we um, are very well open to accepting now, timelines do change. Uh, and so uh, we understand that these things are fluid more than we potentially would uh, want to admit <laughs> or yes yes yes, yes. And, we, and we want you to know that it is really not long considering all the time you guys have waited already 
it's really not long. You're on the homeward stretch. It's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be too long. We, we don't want to say a time because, you know, it, it could be, it could be within the next month. It, it could be uh, within the next two months. It's, it's, it's really dependent on a lot of other factors, but, you know, just know that uh, the military is loyal to Donald Trump and uh, they are really in control of the country right now. Uh, it, it, or in the United States, anyway, they are in control. So, um, so you really, you really needn't worry. What's playing out is is a stage show, uh, just set up to help uh, these other people uh, wake up. There is some timing things as well. Um, Donald Trump is trying to um, uh, uh, go through this um, uh, former uh, Constitution uh, of the United States that was made. Uh, uh, several years ago that's been changed. Uh, they are trying to, or they have dissolved the uh, um, corporation that is the United States and they are, uh, you know, he is really in charge, Donald Trump, but it's just behind the scenes. So just just know that you are still in good hands. It may not seem like it, but, you know, there's nothing that can happen uh, to hurt anyone from any of this that's going on. The only concern that we have is, um, is these rioters uh, and uh, Amy was just watching a video last night of uh, the Netherlands and they had quite a few rioters there that were uh, like looting a bunch of uh, businesses and, and stuff like that and uh, we are uh, wanting to uh, make sure that these people don't hurt anyone because we don't want anyone, anyone, not even one person to get hurt that isn't, uh, you know, meant to in their life contract, right? We don't want anyone uh, to have, uh, you know, kind of an accidental death. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I respect and understand that very much. So uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, is there any more information or any other advice you want to give humanity at this time? Again, we just really want to reiterate, especially to your listeners, because they are all so important. They're all the highest and highest uh, energy beings, and they need to just keep uh, keep neutral or um, or higher. Uh, don't please don't be in lower emotions as much as you can, like avoid it, because we know that you're going to still come into them you know, because you are in the 3D, but just try to not to get triggered, you know, by this information. It's it's all right to go and look, but please don't get yourself into fear, especially because fear is the lowest uh, emotion that there is. And we really just want you to uh, just trust and uh, trust in us that we have everything under control and that, you know, every being uh, that's up here is working as hard as we can to get everything uh um, you know, make sure everything goes as according to plan and to make sure that you're all uh, safe and the world is safe. And we just uh, ask you to contribute by uh, keeping your vibrations as high as you can. Thank you so much. And we are very curious about more insights into why the broadcast uh, uh, was uh, and the, the mass arrests did not occur on the inauguration time uh, day. Um, do you get a sense um, of any more information about why that did not occur? Well, you know already that these people have actually already been arrested and a lot and uh, many of them are already executed, uh, if not in prison already. So a lot of these are just clones. Uh, most of the big players that you're seeing out there are clones and they are um, like, we're not really worried about the clones because they are actually working for Donald Trump and doing what Donald Trump uh, wants them to do. So uh, they they are just like actors in a movie. Uh, they really don't have any power whatsoever. So I know that everyone wants to see them arrested publicly just uh, so that, you know, they can have confirmation uh, that, you know, they're all taken care of. But again, we don't feel like there's uh, too much harm with letting this play out. Like I say, just to try to um, not shock people with with just having you know a new president put in and then suddenly like being taken off in handcuffs. Uh, we decided that it would be uh, safer uh, for everyone if uh, if things played out a little bit differently. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's, it is really good, and that just alone makes people realize that 
you know, um, we're just having to see these things unfold the way that they are to help the rest of humanity wake up. Um, and also with the part of the inauguration being filmed at Castle Rock, it was interesting to be able to have the extra proof that there was really just a, a show um, in many ways than one. So thank you so much for that. Um, okay, so we can receive you to where you belong, Archangel Michael, with much love and gratitude for the connection information today. Um, and we were curious if we could call on Metatron because also Amy feels like uh, he gets a message for her too. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so Metatron, uh, what would you like us to know from you today, please? I would like humanity to know that uh, I am here and I am doing a lot of work to make sure that everything on the planet is going according to plan. Uh, if anyone feels like they need any help with anything, uh, uh, Mick, um, Amy was wanting uh, motivation. For me, she's been uh, saying prayers to me. Um, I think some of your other listeners as well may be also struggling with that same kind of thing. And uh, what Amy's asking mo for motivation for is uh, to um, carry on with her regular 3D life because she's struggling uh, to sort of keep a balance going between um, her, like things like the sessions and um, connections with people that she feels strong connections with, that kind of thing. And with like, say, mopping her floor or, you know, cleaning her bathroom or, you know, making meals, just little day-to-day uh, -day life um, activities. And uh, I am going to send everybody in the group that listens to this message a little bit of um, motivational healing to give them a little bit more energy to keep going uh, through the 3D. Amy can feel it uh, totally running through her body right now. And I... I, like I say, I want to make sure that every uh, single one of your listeners gets this because I think there are quite a few people who are struggling with this same thing uh, because it can be quite overwhelming, especially knowing the, the um, bigger truths and knowing, uh, you know, that you're um, destined to, to leave this planet and, uh, uh, you know, but you, in the meantime, we need you to carry on uh, functioning here as well. So it's, it's very important that you can balance the two. Mm, absolutely yes um and so uh what are your recommendations for us to be able to find that motivation and to to be able to uh, appreciate um what we have left in the 3d yes i think well again if anyone uh i i do think it's going to be better for everyone after they listen to this message but if anyone feels like they want to call me to them uh privately all they have to do is you know say uh say my name and ask and call out for help to me and i am more than willing to come you know to them individually and help them out as well and uh like i said we do understand how hard it can be for you um a lot of you are you know very high dimensional beings and you know being stuck here on a 3d uh it is very trying and we know that you're also tired uh you know going through all the things that you've gone through in this lifetime and um, we just ask that you, uh, carry on, uh, with a little bit, uh, sorry, a little bit longer and, you know, it, it, enjoy the time, like I said, enjoy the little things, like just, uh, try to, uh, you know, just find the little joys everywhere in this life and, and, uh, be grateful for, you know, even the littlest thing we will be, uh, I will be there, uh, and other angels as well and your own, uh, guides as well will be there helping you, picking you up, and uh, assisting you as well with the tasks and stuff like that. So uh, we are there. You just need to call on us for help. Thank you so much. And in terms of Trump, um, surely he must be surrounded by a big team of people uh, all working together to be able to get this uh, more public knowledge about uh, the crimes against humanity. Well, he sure is. And, you know, he is surrounded. I mean, you, you guys are surrounded by your, your spiritual teams are so strong, uh, whether you can actually see them or feel them or not. I mean, you guys have giant spiritual teams and, and Donald Trump has, you know, a phenomenal spiritual team 
uh, plus all of his, uh, you know, human helpers as well. And, and, uh, you know, he has so many of them. There's, there's more than, you know, you could even imagine. And, and I mean, even Donald Trump actually considers like even all the people who call themselves uh, patriots and, and we just use that term because he uses it, but, you know, anyone involved in the Q movement or even anyone involved in the truth, you know, in finding out the truth. And, uh, uh, we have, we, he also appreciates, you know, all the people who pray for him and, and all that's all going to the good. Like there's so much good energy coming to Trump that he, um, yeah, he is doing everything that he can to, um, to get, get the rest of humanity to, you know, wake up to what's happening. He, he's kind of, uh, you know, like I said, putting on a, uh, you know, almost a comedy show right now, uh, just to the, to the ridiculousness almost just to, to, you know, make it so that there's no way that these people can't just, uh, see that, uh, you know, there's something really, really wrong there. And, and all they have to do is, you know, start asking, uh, people questions or start doing a little bit of digging on their own on the internet. And, you know, the answers are all right there for them. So, we really hope that as many people will wake up as possible. And then at that point, when we're ready, the broadcast will come and uh, that will uh, wake up the last few people and uh, uh, like give uh, solid, solid proof and confirmation that all the, you know, people have been waiting for for so long, because we do want to give you, you know, we, we know that you've all waited so long for this broadcast that we, really do appreciate your patience and we will make sure that you will get to see it at some point you will get to see it and you will have everything that you know just confirmed to you fantastic i love that thank you so much for the confirmation um so is there any other information or messages that you would like to share with humanity now before we wrap up with you no just no just the same thing like i say in a uh, pr pretty much the same thing that Archangel Michael said is just like, know that we are all here with you. Know that we are there holding you up. You're never alone. We're always there. If you feel like you need help for anything, uh, don't feel like you're bothering us because we can be any number of places. But, you know, we would ask that you also uh, use your use your spirit, uh, your spirit guides, uh, your own guides, because they they are right there and they're waiting to help you as well. But we are all here for you. And all you have to do is all you have to do is call us and we will be right with you at any moment when you, when you need us. And uh, we are just so wanting you to keep your vibrations uh, high because that's what the planet needs right now. And, and that will help to move things along faster more than, you know, if, if, if anyone is feeling a little bit impatient, uh, you know, keep your vibrations higher, the higher that the higher that the world's vibrations are, the faster this will all occur. Love it. Yes, absolutely. Great motivation to <laughs> keep those vibrations high. So thank you so much, Meritron, for coming in today once again. And um, your beautiful wisdom is always appreciated. So you can receive uh, with much love to where you belong. And can I contact again Amy's higher self, please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, so Amy was very interested in um, understanding more about if the sleeping pills that she's taking uh, to help her sleep, because as you know, she's a shift worker and so she has no schedule for sleeping for her body at the moment. Um, do, is that affecting her organs at all? Um, it, it, it would be, but we are constantly healing her. So we're making sure that it's not because... I know she's she's worrying too, like I can see right now, because someone someone told her the other day that uh, the sleep, one of the sleeping pills that she's on can cause dementia. And being that being that she works in a place that's full of dementia and she sees how sad, you know, dementia is and no one really wants to be like that. Right. So she stresses about that quite a bit. But again, we want to let her know that we are constantly like clearing her organs and constantly uh, clearing her. Um, her mind as well so she doesn't need to worry about that uh we like we said before I think in a previous session there is a purpose to the sleeping pills and part of it is uh just that she um I don't know she's uncomfortable at this time still with the astral uh traveling and the um and the amount of uh beings that are trying to contact her while she's sleeping 
it, it frightens her quite a bit. And, uh, so we would like her to, um, um, we will, we will get rid of them for her, but we're not going to, she's not quite ready for that yet. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Because, um, I think she is very motivated to get off them because, um, you know, she wants to be able to form natural sleeping patterns for herself, but it is very challenging with her work, but thank you so much. And so in terms of, uh, the beings that are trying to contact her at sleep, are they all um, loving and supportive or is there anything else that's a bit gremlin-like? <laughs> yeah, well, they are, there are lots of loving and supporting ones, but she does have one or two and and uh, she hasn't seen them for a long time, but she does have one or two that are, are uh, that have been a darker energy trying to contact her. So um, we, yeah, that's one of the reasons, too, why we've kind of been supportive about the sleeping pills, because we really don't want those entities to even try to, to even try to contact her. Okay. Um, they, like I said, they really do scare her. Yes. Okay, so um, thank you. Can we understand why those uh, denser energies are wanting to connect with her? What, what, what is... I think, and like I said, it's been a while. It's probably even been a couple of years since they've tried to contact her but she had uh one incident where they um actually even though she'd still taken her sleeping pills they kind of uh like were able to physically like punch her in the stomach while she was sleeping and wake her up and um it really scared her she's she uh has sage and she sages quite frequently so she keeps a lot of these uh lower vibrational beings out but um i think um sometimes they are um uh maybe they're wanting her help uh and you know maybe she could help them but we just don't want her to be we don't want her to be in fear so that's i i don't think they're really going to hurt her but we just don't want her to be in fear okay yes i understand thank you and so they're just trying to get her attention it seems very um... yeah yeah they are yeah she has like i mean uh she's talked about it on a previous session but she she has uh um her uh her husband that passed away with her mark uh so he um he's not a bad entity and she doesn't mind him and he's not the one that punched her in the stomach but she has another energy that's either with her or in her house and it uh it's it is the one that did get her attention but it really didn't like uh she had a, a boyfriend that um was uh somewhat psychic uh and could connect with those energies very easily and he uh they the other energy really didn't like uh him being there in the house it's uh it was very disturbed by his energy for some reason okay okay thank you and so just in general um are those lower uh energies entities are they mostly being um eradicated from our dimension as the planet has right raised its vibration yes 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 they are and that's why like that's why amy's not really been bothered by that energy for quite a while because it's uh it's they're they're receding due to um yeah due to the higher vibrations of the planet and as well some of them like we want to see maybe this being is a lost soul and uh probably trapped with the house uh so uh actually and we're gonna say that there's probably at least a one or more energy with her as well and we think that it's it's one of her uh uh ex-boyfriends who's passed and he was um maybe dabbling in some of the dark arts and uh he's um somehow connected to her um but yeah he's he's he comes and tries to uh visit her i think he mainly maybe feels bad for some of the things that he uh, did to her and uh, is maybe wa maybe wanting to, you know, get her to forgive him. But she she's already forgiven him. So uh, we feel like he'll probably he'll probably go now. OK, so we'll ask him to be surrounded by white light and angels to come through, archangels to come through and anyone that needs to help him be guided back to be able to return to source um and we just ask for extra protection uh for amy's house because i know she um doesn't want to be in fear and she has children who are very open and susceptible to these energies as well so just for her peace of mind uh we appreciate all the support 
um, and confirmation that she, her house and her work is protected. Thank you. Yes, we will definitely uh, give her all of that. Yeah, her daughter, uh, especially, and uh, Amy, she kind of, um, they always sleep together, even though her daughter's nine. So no one, uh, anyway, they like to be, they like to be very close to each other because her daughter also experiences uh, quite a few visits at night and she just really likes her mom to be close to her. But uh, hers, hers, her beings aren't, they're not scary beings at all. In fact, they're, they're wonderful beings uh, from other worlds that she's lived on before that are trying to uh, just connect with her. But uh, she, she always sees them as uh, green, uh, green handprints all over the ceiling. And uh, she, she's not, she's a little bit scared by it, but she's not really scared by it because she knows that it is not something malicious, right? It's something uh, benevolent, but she, uh, but she's uh, uh, unfortunately with uh, the way that um, uh, the media and uh, like kids cartoons and stuff like that have portrayed aliens as being quite scary. Uh, Amy's daughter is very, very weary of the alien um, idea, even though uh, she herself is an alien and so is her mom, right? So uh, anyway, it's kind of uh, funny and Amy's really working hard uh, at, uh, at trying to change that. But if we could uh, just send a little, we'll, we'll send uh, just a little bit of energy to uh, Kira as well to, you know, try to uh, open her up to the possibility that, you know, things aren't as they seem. Fantastic. I love that. And then finally, please, she is curious about her water and the quality of the water she's able to uh, consume in her home. Yeah, yes, the water. We've been waiting for her to ask about that because, um, we, uh, we, yeah, we, we kind of uh, broke her water cooler. Oh, it's about a, about uh, six months ago now, and we haven't. She's kind of tried to get another one, but we've kind of, uh, you know, kiboshed that for her as well because we we do not want her drinking uh, the bottled water, you know, whenever she doesn't have to drink it because, you know, there are um, there are really no regulations in Canada as far as uh, bottled water, so. Um, she's, they're, they're putting all sorts of things, including heavy metals, uh, into that, uh, bottled water. And, uh, so we would actually prefer that she drank her tap water, even though it is not the tastiest tap water. And there are, um, there is still chemicals in it, but nothing to the extent that's in the bottled water. And, you know, people might think that that sounds really nutty because bottled water is so pure and, uh, uh, whatever, but it is, it really isn't at all. There's, they're, they're, they're almost like drugging the population with what they're putting into those, uh, bottles of water. And even the way that they go about getting that bottled water, uh, is very, uh, sneaky. Like in, uh, Canada where Amy lives, for example, they, they just go in and like take, uh, you know, go into a back field where there's a, you know, river or, a lake and they uh they have no they're not even from Canada like it'll be other countries like France uh that come in and just steal the people's the town people's water and bottle it up and then sell it back to them and it it's uh you know with all these additives in it and uh it's another way that they're trying to uh you know poison the population because they know everyone needs water so they uh use the water because they know it's the most uh, necessary thing for life uh, yes, it does seem to be coming up quite common, the, how much we're being poisoned through our water and food, unfortunately, it seems like it's almost unavoidable at this point. Yeah, and we also don't love, we also don't love the, we also don't love the plastic bottles, and, um, and uh, you know, Gaia does not love the amount of plastic bottles that have been, you know, poured into her oceans and, you know, spread, uh, like, all out throughout her, uh, you know, on her, on her beautiful uh, body. She does not appreciate it. Mm, yes, I can understand that very much. Okay, thank you so much. And so is there any final messages that you have for Amy? Uh, we just would like to say, you know, again, that we're so proud of her. She's really been listening to, uh, she enjoyed all your group sessions. She was upset she didn't get to connect, but Sometimes we just need her elsewhere and she was needed, uh, she was needed at work this weekend. So, uh, um, you know, we want her to keep going there. It's so important what she's doing and she's always so high, she's always so high vibrational when she's there. 
uh, as soon as she just gets in that building, um, as much as, you know, some people maybe don't like going to work and she, she doesn't love getting up, uh, for 5 a.m., but, uh, she does love the night shift. So, uh, she's always really great, uh, uh, always in really good energy. We always really enjoy, uh, the connection that we get with her during the night. Uh, she knows that she can, uh, um, talk to, uh, uh, to her higher self and many other beings, uh, when she's there at night. There's a couple of particular places in, uh, that building that have uh, uh, phenomenal energy for her. So, uh, and yeah, she she gets uh, visits from so many past residents there. And uh, we just want to give her confirmation that, you know, that's just us like saying hello and letting her know that we're with her and that we're there to give her strength if anyone uh, is trying for patience or uh, if she needs to give them a little bit of extra energy, we're right there uh, with her, supporting her and giving her more energy back. Wonderful. I really appreciate um, knowing that and for her to be able to have that happen for her. So thank you so much for all of the beautiful wisdom and support that you're giving us all the time. So thank you very much.